How's it going YouTube? And welcome to a new episode of First Timers. You have your host here, Alvin. Today we're gonna to be looking at a code, P0335, and we're gonna see how to fix it. Pretty much I purchased a crank, as they call it, a can, uh, this, is, this one says camshaft sensor, interesting. It's supposed to be a crankshaft sensor, but we'll see. Um, pretty much it looks like this here. On the box it says cam, on the receipt it says crankshaft. Interesting, O'Reilly's. So we'll see what, uh, O'Reilly's I should say. Um, we'll see uh, if it'll actually fix it. I'm very excited to see if I can get this working. So you don't have to remove the cover that covers your engine. You can go and just remove the rear cover that does the transmission area. Um, again, that's gonna be the cover that kind of covers the, um, the steering rack there. You can start to see my leaking steering rack, but just remove that cover and it'll get you right to where you need to be. Obviously, we removed the plastic that was under here and we're pretty much getting to this guy here. Obviously, there's a lot of oil leaking, so I have, I'm assuming is something the seal inside the boot, but you know, like I said, it does look like it's come off the boot, so I'm not too worried there. Uh, so it doesn't look like there's a damaged line. So we'll come back to that later. We're gonna just hit this guy here. Or actually, I should say, probably in a different video, but we're gonna take this one. And who knows, maybe the main reason that it could be uh, going bad is probably because of all the liquid. I should have taken off the, uh, make sure you take off the connector first. Sorry, guys. very similar so we'll put it in and we'll see how it works and the install is actually very very quick which is exciting on, on bolts there it is and it's the impact to drive it back home all right just try not to go too hard on here and strip out the bolt, but other than that, boom, look at that. That was done pretty quick. All right guys, so it's installed and um, pretty much the issue I was having was when I was trying to crank it, it would be da 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 you know, and it would, it would just crank for about 30 seconds. Um, I would stop, crank it again, and then halfway through it finally would start. So I'm assuming that this is gonna be the problem, hopefully. We're gonna test it out, see if it actually works. So let's see what we got here. Perfect. Sounds good, I like it. So I'm not gonna reset the light just because I do have to smog the car in a few days. Um, so I'm gonna drive it around, see how it feels. Uh, make sure you know nothing no other trouble light comes on um, hopefully it does what it needs to do and works like it should so um, yeah like I said that install um, probably the hardest part was just pulling down the plastic because literally this was only one bolt um, the plastic obviously you have multiple bolts to pull out but other than that it was actually really easy um, again it was behind the the uh, rack and pinion um, and it's right, you know, pretty much right where the uh, engine and the trans meet together, as you can see it in the video. Um, like I said, it wasn't too hard to do. Literally in and out, probably within a minute, probably a little longer because I had to show you guys what it was and then put it in. But other than that, you know, fastest, probably fastest video ever. But anyway, not fastest video ever, sorry guys. <laughs> but fastest video for first time or so. Um, anyway guys, um, it looks like the next fix will probably be the rack and pinion where it's leaking the uh, power steering fluid. So hopefully we can um, see what's going on there. Hopefully I don't have to buy a whole new rack and pinion, but um, it's either that or fixing where the leak is coming from. It looks like it's coming from the boot. Um, maybe if you guys see how have dealt with that, maybe you can comment below and just uh, let me know exactly what you guys did to fix it. Hopefully it wasn't rack and pinion, but yeah, let me know in the comments. It might help out big time. Anyway guys, see you later. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Woo!